Hello and welcome to IT Security Guru, I'm Dan Raywood. Now this morning we've written about a breach which was reported of course last night and it was from another US healthcare company there called Premira, P-I-E-M-E-R-A, I presume that's how it's pronounced, and uh, comes what, about six, seven weeks after the Anthem breach, so not a good year for healthcare companies when it comes to data security. The online statement, uh, which was uh, issued by President and CEO Jeff Rowe, um, confirmed that attackers gained unauthorized access uh, to IT systems. Uh, that was detected on January 29th, however it took place, uh, May 5th, 2014. So what's that, about seven months or so. Um, pretty slow actually, isn't it really? But how often how many logs are they generating? It's, uh, it affected a lot of divisions of the company. and. Um, well, if uh, rumours be true, then the uh, company confirmed that uh, names, dates of birth, email addresses, personal addresses, member identification numbers, uh, bank account information, and claims information, including clinical information, were could have been compromised. Um, they did say nothing, um, no evidence to date that such data has been used inappropriately, but it's been accessed, and that's the really bad news about this story. Um, it's not just the case of it uh, happening, it's a case of it uh, you know, actually what has been taken. So um, yeah, who took it, we don't really know. Was it the same company, that, or same organisation, sorry, uh, that were behind the Anthem uh, breach? We don't really know. Significantly smaller uh, breach number this time. The Anthem breach was 80 million, 8-0. This one, 11 million. Still, there are millions of people. It's not good if you're inside that 91 million, we may say, it. Yeah, you know. We're getting away with it if you're not one of those customers of those companies, but if you are, it's not very good for you if you are. This is happening. So, um, the uh, FBI and uh, Mandiant, they can save the day once again. They are uh, investigating this situation, and uh, the FBI has, has said its investigation is ongoing, but. Um, it's a very tricky situation, probably for all healthcare. They're all, they're all looking at this, thinking, well, you know, what, where is the sort of the fail point? What was the vector used? And uh, how can it prevent it from being us next time? And um, well, second one in space of three months of 2015. And um, well, who knows what's going to come up soon? But uh, you know, very difficult times. You know, what we've seen last year with lots of breaches, lots of big flaws, and. Um, well, if these are connected at all, the flaws that we've seen recently, two big breaches, then uh, maybe these things do need to be patched. So, uh, great problems for healthcare. Hopefully not going to affect any more. We don't want any more people suffering. Uh, we don't need more of these statements. Well, they do make a good news. But um, do keep an eye on IT security group, all that news, and uh, we'll do what we can to bring you to it.